Falcons franchise week three. We have a tough task ahead of us facing the 86 overall Philadelphia Eagles that knocked us out of the playoffs just one season ago. We know who their quarterback is, and we know they have a lot of other talent surrounding Jalen Hurts. DeAndre Swift is up to an 86 overall. They have a rookie fullback, Jose Francisco. Not nearly as good as our rookie fullback. A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, K.J. Osborne, and the rookie out of Clemson, Cam Shields, who we might remember. Dallas Goddard at tight end. The offensive line remains very good, except for Lucas Patrick and Cam Jurgens our starters. But Cam Jurgens is really good in real life. So, the rich get richer with the Eagles. He was a second-round pick, to be fair. Mike Dana at left end. Josh Sweat is injured, so we might see more of Camille Grove today, the rookie first-round pick out of Virginia. Jalen Carter, Fletcher Cox, and Jordan Davis are a wall of interior defensive linemen. Hassan Reddick, Nolan Smith off the edge, Anthony Walker, Kazir White, Nicobe Dean. We might see a little bit of Miles Jack today as well. In the secondary, Darius Slay, James Bradbury, Avante Maddox, Kobe Bryant, and Keely Ringo. And at safety, they brought in Adrian Amos over Reed Blankenship and Adrian Phillips, the Texas Longhorn, along the second-year player now, Sidney Brown from Illinois. Our regional focus scouting is going to be for the main positions to get that 5% efficiency boost. So defensive tackle for the West, defensive tackle, I suppose, for the Central as well. And then for the Northeast, we're going to do... Well, let's see. It, it would really just be for one safety, Joshua Jackson out of Louisville. Does have good to great speed. I'm a little bit worried about marginal to decent acceleration. Be awareness, be pursuit, Z, uh, C zone coverage. Not really all that interested in him. And then an outside linebacker, Thurman Mason. It is like LBU, Penn State. Good to great speed. He's probably a rush player at 6'4", 253, almost certainly. So an edge rusher, which we do need. Uh, I guess we'll do linebacker, outside linebacker. And then you know what? The strengths of the Southeast class, strong safety and free safety. Feel like it'd be stupid just to not pick safety. So that's what it's going to be for the Southeast. Regardless of how good the players actually are, we're going to find out a lot about them. And let's go ahead and get into weekly strategy here as we try to figure out a way to slow down this Eagles offense and get through their unbelievably talented defense. I've already done the drills for Yankee, Madsen, and Humphreys. And we'll go ahead and start training here. Get some XP. Hopefully get some morale boosts up so that we can go into this Eagles game and look for revenge. They eliminated us from playoff contention last year. They're the reason we didn't make it to the Super Bowl. So now I want to at least get some regular season revenge before we meet them again in the playoffs, which I think could end up happening. We have upgrades for Kyle Pitts. He's already at 90 vertical threat. I'm going to do blocking again for Pitts, who's now up to a 91 overall. Make him a little bit more well-rounded. We know what he can do as a receiver, and he's playing a lot of slot receiver for us now with Neil Madsen, the rookie out of Utah, in the picture, the second-round pick. For Jeff Okuda, going to upgrade zone coverage. I want to go ahead and make him a little bit more well-rounded. A plus two to zone coverage is nice. 83-83 now, and the next upgrade for him will probably be slot. And then the rookie out of Notre Dame is Kyrie Yankee. Block shedding's okay. I want power moves to go up into the 80s. But run stopper's also the scheme fit right now. We're going to go ahead and upgrade that. Need that block shedding to go up as well. Get the plus two up to a 75. And he's already looking... Pretty good. He is the number 28 overall defensive tackle in the top 13%. And this is only his third week out here. All right, headed to the link. Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, in the heart of the city. And there is Kyle Pitts, who we never throw to. Six catches for 100 yards last week. He's a pretty good player. But Jalen Hurts, A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith, those are some pretty good players. And we do have to worry about that defense. So we have our work cut out for us. We know what it's going to be. We know what the Eagles can do. We went up on them big early in that postseason game, and then they had a number of things go their way, including an onside kick. Jalen Hurts in Madden as the opposing team, I don't think is that good. He's paranoid in the pocket, and he just freaks out if you get any semblance of pressure whatsoever. So the goal today is going to be pressure Jalen Hurts and make him uncomfortable in the pocket. If he's uncomfortable in the pocket, he's going to make mistakes. We've seen it time and time again. Giants franchise last year. Falcons franchise already this year. Sure, he threw for like 500 yards against us. 
with overtime and our defense just stopped playing at some points. But we can make him uncomfortable in the pocket. They're not going to be able to convert first downs. And we'll see what our defense can do. We're blitzing to start and down goes Hertz already. It's the speedy Troy Anderson. Ultimate speed up the middle. And when you send heat, that's what you need. You need really, really fast linebackers. And we have that. And Troy Anderson's the one who ends up making the play. Really, really nice play to four. Second and very long. As Swift will get the give. Break a tackle. Go back the other way. And we'll end up getting four somehow. So the Eagles already kind of giving up there. You know, with the run on second and very long. And they're going to throw down the field and convert the first. Convert for a first down. Conversion on third down. A.J. Brown, 27-yard pickup by Mike Hughes. Yeah, I don't know how that's a catch. I have no idea how that's a catch. But they move the chains good on him. So you try to get there with the Grave Digger, John Graves. Eventually a check down comes. Swift trucks nothing, jukes me, and gets his legs taken out after a big pickup. Nice play to Sean Humphreys. The rookie out of Clemson subduing Kenneth Gainwell. Checks into the game. Deshaun Humphreys, a.k.a. Hump, a.k.a. Hump Dog, going to be a good player for us. I feel pretty good about it. Here's another run. Jesse Bates, heat-seeking missile to wrap up Kenneth Gainwell for basically no gain. It's going to be third and nine. And we'll see if we can go ahead and shut down the Eagles. Now, they've already converted on third down once. We'll see if they can again. Hopefully not. Hurts already scrambling. Send somebody after him. And he wisely slides in front of A.J. Terrell. Not really his play style, usually. I feel like against a DB there, you'd probably see him try to go through him. But ops just to slide. Eagles settle for a field goal try. And they're actually going to fake it. And they're going to throw down the field to Talis Goddard. I'm right there. Oh, my goodness, dude. I read it the whole way, too. I saw it. I saw it transpiring. And they got it to work anyway. Oh, man, that's insane. All right. It's going to be one of those days. End zone. Where DeAndre Swift can't connect. Second and 10. We got to keep this little rat team in check. They're already pulling out all the stops. Now oh, Jalen Hurts is going to scramble here. No, he's going to throw it back. Oh, nice play, A.J. Terrell. He found DeAndre Swift, did Jalen Hurts. But A.J. Terrell found the ball carrier and just whack DeAndre Swift before he could secure the catch. And it's third and 10. We know this is play action. We're not worried about it. Going toward the end zone. Jesse Bates, good breakup. Thank you. Jesse Bates making a play. Everybody hates you, Jesse. In this franchise, everybody hates Jesse Bates because he doesn't make enough of those plays. I thought that was going to be a touchdown for sure. But he gets an arm in there, jars the football out of the hands of A.J. Brown. And the Eagles finally settle for three. It's 3 nothing Philly. You know, it's crazy. They have to show the quarterback here every time. I get that the QB is like the focal point of any offense pretty much, but not this one. The focal point of our offense, where's number seven? B. John Robinson. No touchdowns passing yet for Desmond Ritter. That could change today. We've had some trouble. The Chiefs defense was pretty good. But we're going to see if we can run the ball. Bijan Robinson, that's not a bad start. Get six. Had 86 rushing yards a week ago. I want to go over the century mark today. Let's get 100 or more. There's all jeer. Nice run for seven. We're going to run all over this weak Philly defense today. They've got some talent. But obviously, when we were looking at the depth chart there, or their roster, that second level is where things get a little bit weaker. Linebacker is not nearly as good as their defensive line is. So we can just get past the defensive linemen. It's going to be smooth smooth sailing. So we got to go ahead, bring multiple tight ends in, and just let them run block their tails off and see if we can take on these linebackers. Didn't work that time. Third and five. Potential four down territory here from midfield. And we're going to get sacked. Just... Kept dropping back, looking for time. Mike Dana gets the QB. I think he's having a pretty nice season in real life, actually, but um, probably could have considered a run there if we were going to think four-down territory. The box is just pretty stacked, so 
Didn't love the idea of that. And then I just didn't really see anything get open. You could say Kyle Pitts, but I mean, I think the safety probably makes a play on that. We've seen that happen time and time again, but that was that was the guy to throw to, but we were already under pressure there. I mean, Caleb McGarry went to the ground within, what, like a second? Look at him. Look how awful, piss poor of an attempt this is. He just falls down immediately. Looks like he's having a heart attack. What's the matter? It wasn't even like a leverage thing. He just fell down. Eagles with the football back. Now, you can't catch that. I mean, we have Jeff Okuda all over you. And then Caden Ellis comes in at the last second to really try to lay a hit. And he just eats it. Second and three now for Philly. I think this is a run. It's not, though. You gotta get to the outside. Good enough defense, I guess. Arnold Ebicady injured on the play. First injury of the game for us. It's not gonna be good. The rookie out of Bama, John Graves, in to replace him for maybe a series or two. Hopefully not, uh, not much more than that. Great coverage again by Terrell. Fourth and three. Do the Eagles actually punt? As it's not really a major injury for Ebicady. He might be out for uh, the rest of the quarter, which is not much, obviously. Uh, maybe rest of the first half. We'll have to see. More runs. I mean, George Espinoza, 43, the rookie fullback. You got to go and hit somebody there. You got to go and hit somebody. I actually wasn't going to snap the ball here. But if we had just a second more, I, I probably would have considered it. I like that negative 12 passing yards on the sack. I like that they didn't really have that many in the box. Felt like we could have run effectively even on second and long. But we'll, uh, we'll see how that changes as we start the second quarter. Down only three. We are going to need some points. That, that is going to be big. We need some points here. Who wants to get open? Throw down the field. Kyle Pitts! Airmailed. Third and nine. Third and nine. Drake London wide open. We're going to hit him. And there goes Drake. Right to midfield. 24-yard pickup. That's how you move the chains on third down. I don't know why Hassan Redick is celebrating. You just allowed nearly 30 yards on third and long. Feels like kind of a mistake from the defense. Probably not something I'd celebrate. As we're going to work off play action. And we're going to find the rookie tight end, Neil Madsen. He picks up eight. Second and two. Lead the way, Espinoza. Decent blocks. As Algier picks up the first. He's a nice short yardage back. And I think we have good blocking around him. You know, we brought in a fullback. We brought in another tight end. Our identity is running the football. And Madsen and Pitts are on the field every play, by the way, pretty much. We're going to try to lob it up for Pitts. He can't make the play. Pressure got to Ritter, obviously impacted the throw. Second and 10. Quick little dink down to Espinoza. Pressure was getting there. And I guess we get four. I'm okay with that. They really sent a lot of heat. And we just had to get rid of the football ASAP. I think the check down was pretty much the only outlet that we could use there. And it's going to be third down and six. We'll see what happens here. I don't love this play. I just feel like if we're going to have you know, an out from the tight end in the slot right. We're going to want DPJ clearing out Darius Slay. And um, Slay stayed in the flat, probably for the best that that was thrown away. All right, we'll try a field goal. Tie this thing up at three. And that is exactly what we do. Young Wei Ku bangs it through. What's new? What's new is we can't score anytime we have to pass the ball. It's an instant drive killer. An instant drive killer every time Desmond Ritter drops back to pass. Whether it's me or him, it's a bad combination. I know that. It's like toothpaste and orange juice. It sucks. Epicady back on the field. You don't see him on this play. He just ate up a block so Mike Hughes could come free. Nice TFL. The Eagles offense doesn't look that great. They've had a couple of plays, but really haven't done a whole lot. We need to keep it that way. Need to keep it that way. Hurts rolling out, throwing down the field, into double coverage, and we can't come down with it. The pass fall is incomplete. Felt like somebody nearly took themselves out of position. You know, just holding Y, going for the interception. Here's third and 13. We have an interesting defensive lineman. Jesse Bates playing like double coverage. We're trying to cover everything. And down goes Jalen Hurts. Frankie Louvu got to him. Not going to count as a sack. 
Not going to be a TFL. I don't think. I think he got back to the line. But a really nice play by Frankie Louvu to limit the damage and force a Philadelphia punt. The defense has played well, and I think we knew it was going to. We've seen what Jalen Hurts does in Madden. He's just not very good, usually. But scoring on their defense is going to be the real challenge here, and it's proving to be already. Here's Cordero Patterson. Can't find much room on the return. Gonna run the ball. Up the middle, looking for space and finding some. Look at Tyler Algier. It's a great run. Finding space. Not really a lot to be had, but he took a really, really good route. And we're able to make it just a pretty much guaranteed first down. Second and one, third and one, fourth and one. Hopefully just don't lose more yards. As Bijan's shut down, it'll be third and inches. And we're going to run it again. I know those, you know, you don't want to run at their strength, which is the interior defensive line. Fletcher Cox, Jalen Carter, Jordan Davis. But we're going to trust Bijan in the offensive line to get enough of a push to get us a yard or two. And that's what happens. It's going to be first and ten. Second and nine after another failed Bijan Robinson run. Yeah, we just can't run up the middle on them. They're just way too good. We're going to check down for Madsen. Makes a catch to make it third and six. We're trying to get rid of the football quickly because this pass rush is really good. But when you do that, you don't let routes develop down the field. But oftentimes we can't, right? Because the pressure is just too good. As we're going to roll out, look for somebody to throw to. We're going to find Drake London. Ritter on the run with a great throw. Moving the chains on third down. We had to have it, and we got it. That's the two-minute warning. We're doing a really good job of controlling the clock. It's three to three. But the way to beat a team like this is to shorten possessions and don't let them get out to a huge lead. So we've done that so far. Our defense has played well. Need our offense to do the same. There goes Bijan. Nice run. One of his best today. Second and two. We're going to throw for the rookie tight end. There's Madsen. He makes the catch. Makes a move and gets inside the 10. That's his third catch today. I just felt like he was the most open there. We ran mesh, and it felt like beyond the mesh point, he broke open. Didn't really check that right side of the field after, although that could have been a decent option as well. Here's first and goal. Going to give it to Bijan. He bounced it outside, and down goes Drake London, run blocking on the play, holding his chest. That could be a bruised sternum. He could be out of the game. I think he's holding his chest going into the locker room. We might miss Drake London for the second half. Not what we want, but what we're probably going to have to deal with. Hopefully the injury is not too severe. Here's second and goal. Going to run it. Found a little bit of space, but couldn't turn it into much. Going to be third and goal now. And it's just an ab strain for Drake London. So I think we're going to see him for the second half. And we'll see if we can punch this thing in. Third and goal. 50 seconds left in the first half. We are not snapping this ball until we have to. Eagles probably should be calling timeouts if they want to get the football back and score. We're not going to let them. Offensive coordinator really wanted us to run mesh, so that's what we're running. And it's probably Pitts or Madsen and maybe even Quez Watkins if we get that deep into the progression. And we're going to throw for Kyle Pitts. There he is! Into the end zone! Touchdown! First TD of the game. Comes with about 30 seconds to play here in the first half. But we got open enough. I didn't trust Bijan on the quick throw. Think we were going to lead him into coverage. Pitts was coming open. And he walks the runway. Fashion show. And you can do whatever you want when you score touchdowns for us. They're so few and far between. That's the first passing touchdown for Desmond Ritter here in 2024. Kick will sail through the uprights. It's 10-3. 19 seconds to play in the first half. Looks like the Eagles might try and score here. I mean, they're spreading it out. And they're going to run read option. We got to wrap up. That's exactly what we do. Eagles going to opt not to use the timeout. We're going to go into the locker room with a lead. This is a good spot to be. 10-3 to against a very, very good team. Their offense has really struggled, which, again, is not a surprise. But their defense has been tough. We really have not been able to run the ball very effectively unless it's Tyler Algier. I mean, Bijan's got about 30 yards, but on 10 or 11 carries. We got to be better in the second half. It's going to be focused more on outside runs, running away from those amazing defensive linemen. This video is sponsored by Underdog Fantasy. These are my picks for 
right now, Friday, Saturday for college football and also for Sunday. And with some of these picks, Underdog now has new multipliers. So what does that mean? You have a higher multiplier in terms of winnings if you're actually correct on picking higher on a touchdown, for example. So Darius Lasseter is not just a regular pick. It's a 1.7x multiplier, meaning, and it's showing on mobile here, four picks for up to $200 is actually four picks for $437.40. So I need these touchdowns to work. I have Darius Lasseter to score a touchdown tonight. That's not passing. Shadur Sanders to go over 300 and a half yards passing. Caleb Williams to score a rushing touchdown, essentially. And Jawar Jordan to go essentially to 19 fantasy points. For Sunday's games, I'll probably have something in tomorrow's video that's different than this, but I have George Pickens as a special multiplier to get higher than 58 and a half total yards. Bijan Robinson, higher 92 and a half total rushing and receiving yards. Lamar Jackson, lower 215 and a half passing yards. Josh Allen, higher 265 and a half passing yards. And Derrick Henry, higher 70 and a half rushing yards. If you're eligible to play, it means you live in one of these yellow states. If you are in gray, light gray, you can't play Pick'em, but you can play Best Ball, which is a long season fantasy team where they set your lineup for you. And I'm sorry if you live in one of these black states, you are not eligible to play. But use code BANGLE when you sign up for Underdog Fantasy and let's get lucky. Let's win a little bit. Thank you to Underdog for sponsoring this video. And remember to use code BANGLE when you sign up for Underdog Fantasy. Link is in the description. We will get the football to start the third quarter. And here we go. Cordero will return this one. We need a block or two, and he could be gone. Didn't get one, and we're back to the 25. And let's see if we can run the ball. Said we're going to run to the outside, and that's exactly what we're going to do, but the block is shed by the rookie Camille Grove from Virginia, and he stops Bijan in his tracks. Second and nine. We're taking a shot down the field here. Rashid Shaheed had a step, and we threw it out of reach. Oh, I think we had Rashid Shaheed down the field. Missed opportunity. You can't just throw it up there because the the DB will always make a play if you don't do the precision form passing. We got it just a little bit too far out of reach. Here's third and nine. Madsen wide open. Couldn't get him. Uh, we just need half a second more. I got somebody commenting being like, oh man, do you ever get sacked? You have 10 seconds to throw every play. What game are you watching? Not this one. Got a punt. We can't throw the ball. Ah, I wanted to run, man, but uh, second and nine, I'm, I'm usually not going to run on second and long. Just usually not going to do that. Play action. Get back. They're going to check down. Nice tackle in space. That's the rookie hump. Deshaun Humphreys, I think I call him DJ sometimes. We're just going to say that's a nickname. He's Deshaun Humphreys Jr. But Humphreys with a great tackle. Third and inches, and it's a run, and Swift has space. Jesse Bates, drill him, and he does. I need Swift to cough up that football. That's a touchdown, okay. A bad angle there, I guess. Eagles going to tie things up. Kenneth Gainwell, just option out of the backfield. Jalen Hurts extended and found him. Arnold Epicady could nearly make a play, but I guess I, I thought we pretty much ran into him, but nope. 10-10. Second and eight. I mean, the Eagles are really just making a point to not let us run the ball like we want to. They've been very annoying so far. We throw again for Madsen. He's got a lot of work today because just when I'm working through the progression, I just end up finding him. Four catches. I think it's more than anybody else. Although, third and four. I think we're going to run the ball here. Bijan, find space. Oh, we got blocks. Look at Bijan Robinson. Makes a man miss and gets tracked down from behind by Hassan Reddick. But it's a really nice run from Bijan. Great blocks from the offensive line. Saw Chris Lindstrom get out there in his space and give us the space and the room to operate. And it moves the chains to the 47. Algier shut down. All right, it's going to be third and seven. Who wants to get open? Who wants to make a play? We're going down the field for Quez Watkins. That's what I'm talking about, man. How is he not open? Darius Slay gets back into the play, gets the pass break up. That's a frustrating one. And now on, on fourth and seven, it is frustrating, but we will have to punt. 
and hopefully pin them deep. And that is the goal here. I think this is going to be a good one. We have the wind on our side. And that's that's going to be a good enough punt. Inside the 10? Ah, I'll take the 11. Just don't want to give them a touchback. I'm loving these man blitzes, though. Hertz has not really been able to handle them. We just kept, or keep sending pressure. Richie Grant, like, how is AJ Brown doing this? He could survive being hit by a bus. Wouldn't drop the ball. We had somebody like that last year. I can't remember who it was. Uh, not last year is in last season of Falcons franchise, not like Giants franchise from a year ago. But, oh my goodness, it's back again in the form of AJ Brown this time. As DeAndre Swift now goes superhuman. Maybe the final play here, the third quarter. Gonna be a run. Caden Ellis can't get to him. And eventually does get the assist on that tackle. Will be second in inches for the Eagles who are looking to take the lead. And I don't think we see a snap here. We are headed to the fourth quarter. Locked at 10. Gotta keep the Eagles out of the end zone. They are knocking on the door. Second and inches. It's read option. Richie Grant with a huge hit. And Jalen Hurts stays down. Down goes Hurts. I bet that Hurts. He's gonna limp off the field. Richie Grant absolutely decapitated Jalen Hurts. And it will be the former number two overall pick. Mitch Trubisky into hand it off. And wow, now the offense is really going to go behind Mitch Trubisky. Second and 10. Over the middle, Caden Ellis. Good defense. Devontae Smith was a target. We haven't really said anything about him today. And partially because the Eagles offense has not been able to move. And partially because how often do you ever see the Madden CPU get their good receivers involved? It's almost never. It's, it's almost always the tight end as AJ Terrell goes airborne to force that incompletion. But it's almost always the tight end or the running back out of the backfield. I feel like the number one and number two receivers, even when they're good, just do not produce. Slot receiver, sure. But number one and number two, I mean, they're just out there running rounds for no reason. And the kick is blocked. Who got in there? Was that 44? Troy Anderson. Leaping, knocks the kick down, and we're going to be tied at 10. What an effort from Troy Anderson. Second and nine, we are going to run the ball here, and we got a block from Espinoza. Bijan goes through Slay, but he just, he shed the block at the least opportune time for me personally. I felt like that was going to be a touchdown type play, and we just could not get by Darius Slay, which is annoying. First and 10, Cordero Patterson into the backfield. He wants to get open, and why is it Kyle Pitts? Oh, he's still going. Kyle Pitts grabbed and thrown, but gets nine yards. He's okay, and it's second and one. Bijan back into the game. This is going to be a good play here. Watch this. Read option. Ritter, first down. Oh, look at those two yards. You know why it's a good play anyway? First down. Second and 10, who wants to get open? That looks open enough. DPJ making his first catch of the game. Gonna make it third and three from the 46. Uh, this has to be a double run spot, right? It's gonna have to be, it's gonna have to be. I think it'd be stupid not to. Third and three, all the way out here, we're not punting, but it's probably too long for a field goal. When we were forced to go back up the middle, there was a linebacker in the hole. And uh, that closed too. We're not punting. So you can forget about that. Fourth and three. Let's bring out Tyler Algier. Which way do we run this? We could run left here. Although, let's count here. It, do we have the numbers? Do we prefer to run by Kyle Pitts? Let's go for it. Get to the outside. Algier, power! Clock keeps moving, he moves the chains. Big run from Tyler Algier, who just barely got it. Wow, that was close. Ballsy call, but you gotta go for it in that spot. Can't give the ball back to Philly to, to run the clock out and end the game with a field goal. You gotta trust your offense. And from that field position, I mean, it was an automatic go for it spot. And that's exactly what we did. Three and a half minutes to go. Taking a lot of time off the clock. Here's Ritter. I guess that was read option and not inside zone. A bad time to find that out is during the play, in my experience. 
And now it's a, it's a critical third and eight. I mean, this is... You gotta have it. And we're sacked. Miles Jack making the play. And now we have to punt. Oh my gosh. Did I miss it here? I mean, nothing's open. I'll tell you, I like the idea of Quez Watkins, but as soon as he breaks down, look at this DB. Adrian Amos shoots to cover that. I mean, where are we supposed to go with the ball? I mean, scramble instantly. <laughs> we, were, we just got smoked. It'll be my fault somehow. I'm excited to find out the comments, but we're going to have to punt the football. Bradley Pinion back out again. Pin him deep. Two minutes to go. That's a good punt. Give us a bounce. We're just going to down it. Now, I have not downed it before because I'm trying to get greedy for a few extra yards. When you have an opportunity to down it inside the 10, you just take it. Plain and simple. The extra three or four yards probably won't matter in the end. Although football is a game of inches. Six yard run for Swift. Brings us to the two minute warning. Eagles with three timeouts. Have two minutes, but can stop the clock, obviously a couple, few times. Two minutes to go 89 yards. It's Mitch Trubisky to lead the game winning drive for Philadelphia. That would be devastating. They're going to air it out down the field, and it's completed over A.J. Terrell. Jesse Bates can't catch him. What is happening? Who is this little guy? It's Cam Shields, the rookie receiver from Clemson wearing number 20. He's about five foot two, and just burned A.J. Terrell on a go route. How? How did he do that? Terrell just missed the ball. I mean, that's probably the best throw I've ever seen in my life from Mitch Trubisky. That's the best throw he's ever seen in his life because he's never done that before. All right, we'll get the football back with an offense that's not high-powered. We'll have a two-minute drill, three timeouts, basically the identical situation to the Eagles. Yet, we don't have a play to burn DBs down the field. No, just... just Quest Watkins is 98 speed. It's going to feel like 85 when he's out there running around. He will be absolutely smothered. So, yeah, we're... I don't want to say we're screwed, but it doesn't look good. And they have momentum as well. Bad things. We're taking a shot for DPJ. I'll tell you what. I pressed the button for about a millisecond, yet it's a bullet pass and not a touch pass. I, I mean, I, I don't think I actually could have pressed the button for a less amount of time. Slay is now in the zone. Second and 10 is not good. Get it to Bijan. We need guaranteed yardage. I'm not calling a timeout here. It's third and three. We need them in case we uh, don't convert. So we're going to speed things up. Here we go. Who wants to get open? Who wants to make a play? Madsen down the field. It's intercepted. This guy sucks. Dude. Ugh. We can't hit open receivers. That's our fun thing that we do. We can't hit them. I feel like we have the tight end wide open. Uh, throwing it right to Sidney Brown. Great stuff. Also, what Darius Slay is doing on this play, I'll never know. This game is bad. But it's going to work out for him. Okay, that's why we saved our timeouts, I guess. We're going to need them. We need a three and out. And it's right back up the middle. We abandon our lane. Allowing a touchdown is actually the best thing that could have happened for us. Because a first down would have ended it, essentially. Now with them scoring a touchdown, I know I'm talking myself into it, but it, it really is true. Now if we manage to score really quickly, an onside kick gives us a chance. Uh, obviously the pick was devastating, but... And I'll take responsibility for that last play. Try to shoot into the backfield to make a play. Swift changed his direction and it was gone. Uh, tried to make a play though. Tried to blow it up. Tried to be a hero. But uh, I'm not a hero. That's for damn sure. A minute to go. See if anyone can make some magic happen. Not on that play. There's Madsen. Nice throw, Desmond. Better late than never, I guess. 
Throwing down the field for Pitts. Get us to London! Oh, boy. I don't even know how I'm talking myself into the fact that we could still win this game. I sure would like to. But it's, it's not going to be easy. We find Drake London, who's back. He was out for a quarter or so. Missed kind of a lot of time. I wish I could put... Oh, we can put Pitts on a fade, but it's not really what I want. Second and ten. Who wants to make a play? We should have thrown a Madsen. We're going to try and scramble. Ritter out of bounds. Third and five. Slant to London. He drops it in the end zone. Fourth and five. Game definitely on the line. Thrown to the end zone. Kyle Pitts makes the catch. Unbelievable effort. Ritter threw a dart. And uh, that's... It's, it's a crazy touchdown. It would have been nice to have this as our final drive and not throw that pick. But, uh, yeah, it's the way it goes sometimes. We have eight seconds and one timeout. We're going to go for the onside kick, and we're going to see if we can get it. Here we go. Going for the high kick. If we get it, we have a chance. If we don't, game's over. Here's the kick. It is up into the air, and no one's even close to him, and he's got a chance to return this. And he's tackled at the 27. Eagles are in possession. And one final knee will give us the loss. Eagles with a win, 24-17. Tough one here. The Eagles are obviously very good. Uh, this feels a little bit more frustrating because our defense was so good the entire game. And then when we needed to make a play, we get bombed down the field by a rookie for 90 yards. And Jalen Hurts is magically healthy now. Great game from him. Mitch Trubisky was the difference here in this one. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. One completion for 89 yards and a touchdown is the reason why we lost this game, essentially. Ritter, two touchdowns, one pick. Great game by his standards. Rushing Bijan at 3.4 yards per carry. This is a little bit skewed from DeAndre Swift, but he was still a problem today. But they didn't really hand the ball off that much. What did they even do on offense? Had no completions, really, and no rushing attempts. It's unbelievable. Neil Madsen led us with catches 5 for, or for 63. Pitts goes 4 for 24, but with two touchdowns. London 3 for 65 and a drop in the end zone that ended up not mattering. Touchdown for Cam Shields and Kenneth Gainwell. Defensively, again, I thought we played pretty well. Sack for Troy Anderson, who also blocked a field goal. Unbelievable play. But it uh, wouldn't really end up mattering too much. Just didn't take advantage of our opportunities, I suppose. We really tried to run the ball. It just didn't work this week. Good team. One and two is not the uh, the start we were looking for, but it's the start we have, and we're going to go ahead and try to steer the ship in the right direction. We can bounce back from this. This is not a devastating start at all. It's just not amazing. Bucks one and two, Saints 0 and three, division wide open for the taking. And uh, week four is going to be a big one here against Tampa Bay. Then we have the Panthers in week six. Got to win a couple of these for sure. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.